Hey guys, it's me, Lily and Joelle, and we are on day number 20 of 31 days to taming your tongue, minding your mouth, watching your words, whatever we needed to be to get to our desired results. That's what we're doing. Glory to God. You already know I'm super excited to share today's word with you. Now, the scripture we're reading from is coming from Ephesians 4.29. We'll get it in the New Living Translation, and we've entitled this, Encourage. Glory to God. Here's the scripture. It says, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Wow. Guys, I believe we got this. Come on. I know we got this, right? The Bible clearly says, don't use foul and abusive language. Now, how many of us have been delivered from foul and abusive language? Go ahead and type it in the comment section because I'm pretty sure many of us have, right? I know I have. So I want you to share with others that you too have been delivered. That's how we're going to put it from foul and abusive language. Now let's think of it like this. When a person uses a lot of dirty, nasty, and rude language, what do you think, right? What do you, I know I used to think they must have a limited vocabulary. Like they don't have any other words to speak, right? But guess what? What I really believe is happening is that they're not allowing or watching what's going in their ear gate and their eye gate. You know why? Because the Bible tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is going to speak, right? And typically, this type of language, it rises up when a person is out of control. Just think about it. If a person is backed into a corner, they haven't been uh, controlling like what they're listening to or hearing, then guess what? They're going to trip out. They haven't mastered their emotions enough to speak words that are good, right? They're going to trip out. You need to know that. Their reaction is not going to be loving. I'm telling you, it's not. But guess what? We, you and I, we're going to have to grab hold of this. We need to really hold on to this part of the word and really stop using that type of language. And this is what I want to say. If some of you need to be delivered from, you know, foul and abusive language, nasty, vulgar language, I want you and I'm challenging you to go before God. Go before God and speak to him. In Matthew 21, 22, and I'm getting this from the ESV version, Jesus said, and whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. So think about that. I want you to go before God, ask him to deliver you from foul and abusive language. And then Jesus says, when you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. So I need you to have faith in knowing that God will deliver you or guess what? We want to speak faith now. Faith is now. So we want to speak that God has delivered you from foul and abusive language. I challenge you to do that. Glory to God. So let's move on. The scripture says to let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Now, I don't think it can get any plainer than that. Honestly, it really, really can't, right? The words that we speak must be good and helpful. But it's said to let everything we say, glory to God, be that way. Think about it. Everything we say needs to be that way. Is everything you're saying good and helpful? Wow. Listen, when you are in conversation are you speaking nice words that are supportive and valuable to the hearer? Are you? Let's be honest. You can type it in the comment section. I haven't always done that, right? If you haven't, type it in the comment section. We already know you're delivered. Glory to God. But we really do have to get to this point if we want to tame these tongues and master these mouths, right? That's what we have to do. And when we get there, and we start speaking those good and helpful words, the Bible says that our words then will be an encouragement to the hearer. That's good right there. That means the words that we speak will inspire someone. They will give support, right? It will give them hope and confidence. That's what we should be doing. 
That's what we're called to do with these tongues. Glory to God. So listen, before you start speaking, letting your mouth go, right? Be sure to remind yourself that every word spoken should do just this. Encourage. Glory to God. Let's pray. So Father, we thank you for the word that we received today. We decree and declare that we no longer use foul or abusive language. We choose to allow every word we speak to be good and supportive to the hearer. Glory to God. We decree that our words will give you glory and will edify the hearer. We believe we receive when we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Guys, if you've enjoyed day number 20 of 31 Days to Taming Your Tongue, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Yes, yes, and yes. And if the content that I've been sharing with you has been good for you, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. In addition to that, please share my channel with your family and friends. You already know sharing is what? Caring. Yes, it really is. And if you want to know when I upload my latest videos, the only thing you need to do is tap that notification bell, select all, and then you will be notified that, hey, Lily and Joelle has uploaded a video. So look, guys, that's all I have for now. I appreciate you all. I appreciate your support. And you already know what to do. Tame that tongue. See ya.